Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> After we got back from Alabama, I did a little bit of maintenance. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's a little, chill, <laughs> a little chilly here. Um, I took off the transmission pan, which I'm going to show you. Uh, found no metal. We pulled out all the spark plugs. I'm going to show you that here shortly too. And we're going to run a compression test to make sure we didn't hurt the engine and whistle and Dixie. You know, for a stock bottom end motor to make 300, or I'm um, three, <laughs> 300. 630 horsepower and 630 foot-pounds of torque that's that's pretty good so i kind of want to keep up on the maintenance want to keep it checked see what's going on with it make sure we haven't damaged anything and i do need to replace the um exhaust manifold gaskets or the header gasket because the one on the driver's side uh is leaking and i'm not sure if it happened at this point That happened at this point. So we're gonna figure it out guys. It's not that big a deal but we're gonna keep up on the maintenance and you guys are gonna go along with me. Guys I want to appreciate everything everybody. I got uh, over a thousand subscribers now and I only need like 40 more watch hours before I can monetize so guys I appreciate it Thanks so much. So if you're happy with my content, please stick with me um, We're gonna keep trying to put out as much as we can I know my videos have been far and few between but I've been working a lot of hours and even though it's winter time here it Hasn't changed much So guys grab a cold drink stick around. We're gonna get this video up get it going. Thanks a lot guys All right the only thing I did was dump a little bit of the fluid out. Look at that. Not a drop of metal in there anywhere, so we didn't hurt anything. Nothing. Didn't hurt the gasket taking it off either. But we hurt absolutely nothing. Transmission never got hot. Never seemed like it slipped. Uh, got the car up on the stands. It's in my little makeshift budget type of thing. No lift. We do everything by the bu by a budget here, guys. It's all backwoods country boy stuff. A lot of you guys can relate to that. Probably some of you can't. But we're laying on our back. Got some jack stands there. Drop the transmission pan, drain the fluid out. That's how we roll here. Hey, guys, we're out here doing some maintenance on Whistle and Dixie. Uh, like I said, the stock bottom in 351, it performed well, but I want to check it out, make sure it's still healthy. I'm going to run a compression test on the motor. I got all the spark plugs out. I believe I've already showed them in part of the clip. All the spark plugs are in order to where the cylinders they came out of. And they all look, you know, all of them look the same. Maybe a tad bit rich, but I'd rather be rich than lean. I'm going to give you a little bit of advice. If you have the digital MSD 6AL, do yourself a favor and unhook the power to it before you do any cranking over, especially if you have all the plugs out. I can't disconnect mine here because I have a bad pin. I'm not going to dis disconnect the distributor uh, right there because that still holds the voltage in the 6AL and it will burn up the digital box. I've done it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dis uh, I'm sorry, disconnect my power right there. That way there's no power to it. I can crank it over as much as I want and I don't have to worry about burning it up. So stick around guys. We're going to get some compression tests done, see how healthy the engine is. I've already replaced the transmission fluid. Absolutely no metal in the pan, which to me that's awesome because I built the transmission in my garage. It's just not, it's nothing fancy. Just my garage. Hey, there's my Harley. So <clears throat> I wanted to check that out. The transmission still seems to be working good. And guys, you know, keep in, in mind, um, this thing made 630 foot pounds of torque at the rear, rear wheels on a dyno. If you correct that for 15%, which they say is what you get through drivetrain loss, this motor's putting out almost 730 foot-pounds at the crankshaft. C4s were never designed for that kind of that kind of torque or horsepower. So I checked it. It seems like it's good. It's starting to get cold here. So when they when they salt the roads and a car doesn't go out anymore, I'm gonna pull the tranny out. I'm gonna replace the converter with a little bit looser converter and go through the transmission. You know, check all the uh, clutches and bands and stuff like that. And make sure everything's up to snuff. Maybe freshen it up a little bit. Put it back together. And I'm going to run the piss out of it next year. The engine, not sure about. I uh, may, may or may not pull it out put fresh bearings in it. But 
I got 55 pounds of oil pressure, so that tells me the bearings are in good shape. Rings are good, don't doesn't smoke. You can see by, by the plugs, there's no there's no oil soot or nothing on them. So stand by guys, we're gonna run a compression test, see what each cylinder has in it, and I'll show you the results. All right, guys, we ran a compression test, and this motor is pretty, <laughs> pretty healthy for what it is. Number one is 155. Number two, 158, 158, 150. On the other side, it's 150, 155, 150, 150. Okay, and that sound, it may sound a little bit low to a lot of people, but for a 9 to 1 engine, let me turn the camera around here so you can probably, I don't know if you can see me, so hold on, guys. All right, guys, those numbers might sound a little bit low to, to some people. Um, you got to keep in mind, this thing has a lot, it's low compression. It has a pretty good size cam in it for what it is. Um, like I said earlier in the video, it's got a 110 lobe separation and it's got 238, 248 uh, degrees of intake and exhaust duration. So I, I think 150 to 158 uh, cranking PSI is not bad at all. Uh, for a junkyard motor. The only thing I did to this engine, like I said, when I got it from the scrapyard, and most of you have probably already heard this from the channel, previous uh, videos in the channel, is I did put a new set of rings in it and I did file gap them to 26 on the first and 28 on the second. So they're, they got some pretty good gap to them. But again, 630 horsepower, hasn't hurt this engine at all. I'm going to crank this engine up. I'm going to turn the boost up to probably 14 to 18 pounds. i got to get a better fuel pump. My fuel pump stops putting out pressure at about 24 pounds, and it's just not enough. I'm not going to blow it, out from, blow it up from turning it lean. So the future plans are, okay, this is an update. The car runs 672 or 675. I want this car in the 630s next spring. So we're going to look for a new intake manifold. We're going to put a single plane on it. Um, the dual plane works perfectly fine, but I'm going to try to increase the horsepower and the torque a little bit. Maybe not the torque, but the horsepower. Um, the cam's fine. I am going to replace the converter with a, at least a 4,000 stall. Um, I'm changing the rear gears from the 410s to either 327 or 355s. I think that's going to help it a lot. Um, I'm going to go through the transmission. I'm going to freshen it up. I believe the engine's fine. There's, it doesn't smoke. It has very, very, very little blow-by. Got good crank and compression as you saw. The lowest is 150, the highest is 158. So I'm not gonna pull the engine apart. Why mess with something that works? The turbo's new, I'm not worried about that. The wastegate's working perfectly fine. The blow-off valve's working perfectly fine. The carburetor is working immaculately. So that's that's the plans for this coming spring. Um, 
that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. That's all I'm gonna. That's all I'm gonna say about the upgrades. Um, I like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna make videos of all the upgrades. I'm gonna go to the salvage yard. I'm gonna go to my local pick apart, and I'm gonna get some 327 or 355 gears out of an Explorer. They got 31 spline carriers. I'm probably gonna snatch a carrier out of one at the same time. I got some 31 spline axles. I'm gonna put some ARP studs in it so I can beat the living crap out of it and not worry about it breaking. The transmission, I wanna do the same thing. So I'm already putting 700 and some odd foot pounds of torque through a C4 with basically stock internals. Um, I mean, you guys seen the video, you know it's putting out 627, 630, you add 15% for a correction factor, 700. So guys, keep watching the video. I have some reaction videos from some, uh, well, from my, from my son that's in the military. He up, was up visiting this weekend. My grandson's mom um, took her for a reaction video. It's, it's later in the video. You guys will see it. So I think you'll find that interesting. But until... So those parts, you know, till I put those parts in the video and I'm getting a little bit tongue tied because I'm getting long winded and it's actually a little bit cold in here. So I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit chilly. So stick around, watch the rest of the video, grab yourself a cold drink. Come on guys, like, share, subscribe, send it out. Come on, tell your friends, tell everybody, um, hit that like button, hit that bell. So you know when the next video is coming out. And the cart is fast. So we're going to take her around the block real quick and get a reaction video on Courtney and, and <laughs> hopefully, hopefully everything will be all right. So. Stick around, guys. See how she likes 630 horsepower. Oh, I forgot to tell you, it makes 630 horsepower. Awesome. <laughs> Can I hold on? <laughs> if you feel the need, <laughs> if you feel the need to hold on, you just go right for it. Oh my God. You know it's bad when Kyle's smiling. <laughs> yeah, he, he knows what you're in for. Because oh, no. I've had him going for the oh shit handle before too. <laughs> Alright guys, it's going to take me a minute to get to the spot, so stick around, we'll be right back. Alright guys, we're almost to the uh, to the spot, so just be patient for like another minute and then we're going to get Courtney's reaction here. we got to be going out of town. See how, like I said, we'll see how Courtney likes uh, Buck's body Mustang with 630 rear wheel horsepower. Get a reaction on it. A lot of this is going to get edited. <laughs> get it edited anyway. All right, so this is second gear, okay. and I'm going to wait till we get straight. That way, there's no. We're not, we're not going around to any corners. <laughs> okay. Right? Yep. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's 600. Like, I get cold shows every time I do that. Oh That's 630 God. horsepower. <laughs> and it can go up. That is so And it still it breaks the tires loose. And as soon as I grab third gear, it breaks the tires loose, which is basically drive. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> so you like that, huh? Yeah, I did actually. It wasn't that bad. All right, what's going on, guys? Um, it's late in the evening, as you can see. I got home from work a little bit late, but I want to get my uh, son's reaction video. This is my son, Jeremy, United States Marine. Thank you. Uh, um, He's never been in this car before. He's ridden in faster cars. He's not. He's not a. He's not a virgin to cars. I mean, he's ridden in some fast cars, but he's never ridden in this car. Um, so we're gonna take him for a quick uh, reaction video, see what he thinks about it, and we'll be right back, guys. So hold on. All right, we're gonna do a little small pull right here. Nothing real crazy. Just to get Jeremy a little bit used to it. You know, not overheating, so I was wondering when you were going to get out of it and saw this curve coming. I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I'm stupid, but I ain't that crazy. <laughs> yeah, that pulls good. Because I'm going to go from a little bit more of a dig, I think. I'm going to attempt to. Yeah, I'm going to attempt to go from a dig, but I, just, I know what it's going to do. Get a video coming forward. 
All right. All right. Here comes the cars, of course. Let it rip, Tater Jeff. That gets in third gear and it just wants to pull. Yeah. Look, man, I need, I need more. I need more gear, but it blew the tires off. I couldn't get traction to save nothing. Yeah, you can feel it, but once you get in third gear, it wants to. It wants to start pulling hard. So I'm gonna like to get rid of the four tens, go down into the low threes, something like that, so I can actually hold onto a gear longer. And see what happens with. I think it'll be a lot better and get more of a converter so I can come up on a little bit harder. Yeah. But there's just no traction with this right now at all. No, definitely not. The four tens are multiplying it way too much, I think. <laughs> Let it rip, Tater Chip. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. <laughs> Courtney and Jeremy were pretty good sports. Um, Courtney's never been in a car that has any kind of power like that. She was a pretty good sport. And Jeremy, he's, he's hard to read, but he's been in some fast cars, and I think he was a little bit impressed. But until next time, guys, that's that's the video for the end of this video. Um, there's going to be more. Again, if you like the videos, please like, share, subscribe. Your account's going up. Watch hours going up. And we all know about it. It's making, about making some money on YouTube. So come on, guys. Help me out. But until next time, guys, peace out. Stay safe.